Good morning, world. I am Judy, your web-based therapist, making therapy accessible and convenient for our clients in Florida and New York, and of course, sharing information worldwide. Today, I wanted to talk about five ways or five things we can do to help us feel safe because recent conversations have led me to understand that a lot of us, not a lot of us are really not feeling safe in our communities, in our homes, in our environments because of things that have been happening. And um, of course, you know, that adds to the level of stress that people are experiencing. And it creates the opportunity or increases the risk for a whole bunch of other things. So I wanted to talk about five things that we can do to help us feel a little bit safer in our environment. First is build a support or a resource network. Because when we have a network, a network makes you feel like you're not in this alone. A network makes you feel like you have, you have backup, you have people, you have resources. So create a resource network or a, build or a support network of people that you can reach out to. And one of the things that your support network will be really good at doing is helping you find ways or find tools, find resources, find opportunities to help you actually feel and be safer in your environment. So having that network can be very helpful. Two, get involved in your community. When we're involved working towards working towards a solution, it makes you feel like you're doing something. And when you when you're working something on something, when you're doing actively participating and doing things to help get or resolve the issue, you can feel safer because you see, okay, there is help coming, there are there is change coming, there's stuff happening that will make me safer and that can reduce the pressure that you're experiencing. So, and even the other thing about being on the front line, when you're out there, you're actively participating, you're actively working toward the solution, you get a front row seat to know, okay, this is coming, this is happening. You get a front row seat to know what is going on, what is happening to make your community, to make your environment safer so that you will in turn feel safer because you see, hey, these are the resources that are being put in place. Three, educate yourself. A lot of times that feeling, that feeling that um, of fear or not feeling comfortable or feeling, feeling fear in your own environment comes from a sense of powerlessness or maybe it just brings with it that sense of powerlessness where things are happening and you're not sure or you don't see, okay, what can I do about it? I don't see what to what I can do to make a difference, what I can do to change the situation. But by educating yourself, figuring, and then it's going to come uh, come down to figuring out what knowledge do you need to help you feel safer? Maybe you need a self-defense class to help you feel like, okay, if something happens, let's see if I, if I come into contact with such and such situation, this is how I can deal with it. Um, one great example of this, I don't know if you've ever seen a child who's just been through one of those stranger danger kind of um, uh, educations or one of the fire prevention where the child feels like feels empowered because it's like, oh, OK, if something happens like, and they'll tell you if a stranger tries to make me get into a car, I'm going to scream stranger danger. And when you see that they're excited because they know that they have a tool, they have a resource. And even as adults, it helps us to if we know that we have tools, that we have resources. So it may be self-defense classes. Sometimes for some people, it may be that you need a that you need weapons. I'm not recommending that people go out and start buying guns. But what exactly what not if what knowledge that um, do you need in order to feel safe? Is it that you need to understand, but to better understand the laws that are in your community? Is it that you need to better understand how to protect yourself? Is it that you need to better understand how to prote um, protect yourself in your home? What information do you need to help you feel safer and figure out once you know what you need to know, then get that knowledge for with that knowledge, of course, create a safe space. It's crazy that we could feel unsafe in our very own home, in our very own community, but we know that it is happening right now. Many people are not feeling safe in their home, in their community. So one of the things that we need to start figuring out how to do is create some safe spaces, whether it's make, figuring out how do you make your home a safe space? How do you make a 
space in your community a safe space and to do that you will you first need to figure out okay what makes you feel safe what will you need to have in place in order for you to feel safe and then start implementing those maybe you need better an alarm system in your home and that will make you feel safer so if that's what you need then get that again i talked about educating yourself maybe you whether you need a self defense class or it better lighting what needs to happen figure out what needs to happen in order for you to feel safe and create an environment where you at least in that space you have that peace of mind it may be that there's a lot going on out in the world where you don't feel safe out in the street but at least you have that one room that one space in your home where it's like okay when i'm here i know i'm good i know things are good because xyz what do you need to put in there and uh, do you need a baseball bat in your in your house to help you feel safer if that's what you need then get it do you need to yeah, some and sometimes it may not even be physical items. It may be emotional or mental. Maybe you need to create a Zen room in your house. Maybe you need to create a meditation room in your house. Something that will, when you get in there, you're like where you'll feel like, uh, you know, in this little cocoon, I'm okay. Four, actually five. Talk. We're keeping a lot of it in. And it is causing even more stress. We're keeping a lot of it in and it is destroying us. Talk about it. Let it out. Whatever you're experiencing, find someone that you can talk about it with. Sometimes it may be a friend that can help you come up with solutions, that can help you um, work out a plan to help you get out of this situation. Or maybe sometimes you need to talk to a, to a professional. If that's what you need, then reach out, find someone that you can talk to, find someone that will help you let one, let this out, vent it out, find solutions so that you can work towards a better feeling place. Let's do a quick recap. One, build a support slash resource network because that will want the uh, uh, support network will provide you with resources. And of course, having resources will help you feel a lot more empowered to get involved in your community because when you're involved in actively working towards a solution, you feel a bit more empowered and that can help with the fear. And of course, you get to know any new things that are coming up to make the environment actually safer. Educate yourself because when you're educated, when you figure out, when you know what it is that you need, what information you need to make you feel safe, to make you feel comfortable, figure out, figure that out and get that information. If you need to take a self-defense class so that you know how to um, defend yourself, then do that. Um, for create a safe space, whether it's in your home, somewhere in your community, a space where you know that, where you can be calm, where you know that it, when you go in there, you're going to be okay. You're in a peaceful, you're in a comfortable, you're in a safe space. And of course, talk about it because there's a lot going on. And when we keep it in, it's doing more damage. It's doing even more damage. So make sure that you're talking about whatever is going on with you, whether it's with a friend who's helping you, or if you need a professional, reach uh, figure out how to get one and based on your situation and reach out to a professional and talk about it. As always, if you or someone you know happens to be going through something that's more than you can handle, please remember that even right now when so much is so much chaos is happening, there are professionals like myself who are providing remote services who are available, able, and willing to help with whatever you may have going on. So Figure out who they are in your community. So if you need them, you can reach out and get the help that you need. And that is all we have for today. Good morning, world. Have an awesome day.